tonight from AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. It's time for Monday Night Football on EA Sports. see Dak Prescott and the Dallas Cowboys taking on Jalen Hurts and the Philadelphia Eagles. We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gunn, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. An early season tilt, and when it's an early season tilt, should be ready to roll. Well, let's face it, the aches and pains haven't really set in yet, and both teams eyeing a really good start to get things going. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, things haven't gone exactly according to plan to this point, but boy, you and I down there with them before the game, they were fired up. And they understand how important this game is. Win this one, they can start to think about a turnaround. The Dallas Cowboys and Dak Prescott sent to go on offense for the first time. And Dak at the controls, his sixth season under center now as the Cowboys quarterback. We're not even a quarter way into the season. He's already off to a pretty nice start. NFC Offensive Player of the Week in last week's game. Yeah, week two, he was electric. Let's see what week three has in store. They'll go option on second down, right side. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. The Cowboys on third down. They've been really good converting seven of their ten tries. This will be third and five. A 20th carry here for Elliott. And he's going to get to the 31 and not for the first down. Defense just simply can't get off the field on third down. We all know how important that down is for both sides of the ball. You often feel like you're just a step behind whenever they're doing offensively. And one of the differences in this game, no doubt, third down conversion, and that is going to be a story they'll talk about after this one. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Elliott. 110 yards rushing for him now to this point. A good gain on first. Has him set up with second and just a couple of inches now from the 29. Prescott now. Option right. Oh, he's ready. Lost the football. Put it on the carpet. And the Eagles have recovered. He was having success there, holding on to it on the option, but ultimately problems downfield, and it results in a turnover. Yeah, and this is a tough one because you know you'd prefer to have your quarterback either heading to the sidelines or getting down at the end of the play. But you've got an aggressive one. He's fighting for extra yardage, and he gets stripped there. You don't need him to be a hero in that situation. You want your quarterback taking care of himself. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. That is caught. It's the tight end Goddard. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 
They call it a gain of 19, and it moves the chains. Right after the turnover, they come out throwing. And that means it's a sudden change situation. We used to practice it on defense. Sudden change, get out there, stop the offense. But you typically run out there a little bit unsettled. I think that's why he came right out throwing the football, hoping to catch him off balance. And he did. By first down, Hurts. And Sanders has got it complete. And get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! John Brown, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Eagles have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. So a little bit of a letdown there defensively. I mean, look, you're still two scores to the good, CD, but things may be a little more uncomfortable than they had hoped. Yeah, if you kept them out of the end zone there, this game's over. You've locked the door on them. Instead, it's still open a little bit, and they've got a puncher's chance. Elliott good with a PAT, and the lead is trimmed down to 10. Scoring summary, three-play drive. The result, Philadelphia in the end zone. The Eagle kick team out there now as they run up and send this one away. This one will come out to the 25 as Pollard is going to elect not to return it. Now Dallas gets set to take the field. They've got the two-score lead. It looked like they fumbled last possession, led to a touchdown. So while things look good here at this stage in the fourth, they got to be careful. They, they definitely do because they've actually brought them back into it, haven't they? They've given them hope once again. Their purpose on this drive, squash that hope one more time. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. And credit the tackle to Derek Barnett. They'll go option to the short side. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. The Cowboys on third down. They've had plenty of success. Eight conversions, looking for a ninth. This is third and eight. Prescott. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Eric Wilson. And they'll have the ball set up in the red zone at the 16-yard line. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. Quick throw here, that's complete. And the Eagles are going to be set up with a first and goal coming up as they get him down at the six-yard line. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. They'll run with Sanders. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Be interesting to see now what they do offensively down near the goal line after not much there that time. As the offensive play caller, that may change your sequence now. Instead of coming right back with a running play, you may have to go to the air. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Hurts sets up to throw it. Under pressure now, he's going to go down. Sack back around the eight. Quite the sack to Leighton Van Der Esch. When you're this close to the goal line, you've got to expect pressure from the defense. So the ball's got to come out fast. Got to get out of his hands quicker.
looking to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. And he's got his man in stride, complete. They wind up with six on the hook up there, but it's not enough. Fourth and goal. Ran the perfect defense in this situation. Would have meant that there was an incompletion and would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. The kick by Elliott is good. And this is back down to a seven-point game. All right, so they needed two scores to get back in the game. The field goal there, maybe not exactly what they wanted, but the necessary first step. There's still time remaining, and there's enough time to get it done. They've got to get at the least a three and out here to get the ball back. Perfectly a takeaway. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. Their lead back down to one score after the field goal a moment ago, so they'll be looking to string together a few first downs, likely on the ground as they begin first and ten. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he slings one that's incomplete. CD Lamb is intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Throwing. Prescott. This to Jarwin. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. They get six. That'll leave them with third and four. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. The Eagles call all the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Prescott now. And he finds his target. It's Schultz. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that gain of nine buys them a new set of downs. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is that right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. To the air again, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. An ideal spot here to get a first down and try to run some more clock, and this is second and less than a yard. From the shotgun again to Elliott, and he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Schultz. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 19 yards there on the catch and run. Dalton Schultz had one catch in 16 games in 2019 before producing 63 catches in 2020. I don't think it's hyperbole to say that he exceeded everyone's expectations, including his own. training facility for an entire week. Maybe flashback to high school or college carrying it around <laughs> campus, right? Maybe old gauntlet drill, right? Anyone get the ball out while he's, while he's sitting in class and bring it back to the coach? He's in big trouble. 
And the Cowboys are going to have it first and goal as he'll take this down to about the three. Great time there to come up with his longest run of the night. We just saw it. Leads to a lot of satisfaction because if they're able to hang on and win this game, you know what else will happen in the locker room after this? What's that? Head coaches step up and go, great job, guys. Because of that, come in a little bit later tomorrow. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Elliott. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down in the two-yard line. Only a yard that time, second and goal. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And just a short gain that time as they're able to get him down. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes, and we've got a one-score game. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got it third and goal now as they look for that final touchdown to salt this one away. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, his second touchdown of the night. And the Cowboys are closing in on a third straight win as they widen the gap further here in the fourth quarter. So it was the passing game that got him down here, but closer to the goal line, it's the running game that gets him home. Certainly appears that they lulled the defense into thinking that the passing game was going to be it the entire drive. Nice change up there going to the running game to get him over the goal line. Now Zerline on and the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive, 12 plays in length. And it culminates in a touchdown run by Ezekiel Elliott. Now after the touchdown, it's Zerline. He'll kick it away. Taking it at the three. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Kurtz and the Eagles now. Down by two touchdowns, a minute 55 remaining. And they're in danger of a third straight loss as they come up on first and 10. On first and 10, it's Hurts. It's caught by Sanders. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. Throwing again on second down, Hurts. Pass complete, Goddard, and past the 40 before he's out of bounds. Hurts. Pass complete to Ward. The Eagles hustling to the line, clock rolling. From the 44, Hurts. Pass complete to Brown. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 39. From the gun, it's Hurts. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. And he gets this down inside the 35 before going out of bounds. A gain of six there on first. To throw again on second down. Hurts complete. Smith has it. Hurts to his former Alabama teammate Smith for an Eagle first down. Goes right back to Smith again. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. While the trainers take a look, we'll step aside. Looking to throw again on second down. Hurts. And he completed seven straight passes before that one. As it falls incomplete. And puts a halt to that streak. Throwing his hurts. And that is incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left. And this has to be a first down or a touchdown. And this game's over. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Keanu Neal, and he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. 
That's now a second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because of his own? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. The defense can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they get it with just 19 seconds left on the clock. And they take a knee. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. And they will take a knee here. Well, they certainly didn't appear to be fired up about their options throwing the football. So, to me, this seems like a case of just kind of taking their medicine there, run the ball, see if they can pick up something. Instead, they were thrown for a loss. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days... Pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot of... But now, it's about taking the ball away. Taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. So for the Cowboys... It's an ideal start as they move to 3-0 now on the young season. And they'll have another home date next week as the Carolina Panthers come to town. Meanwhile, for the Eagles, the early struggles continue as they'll sink to 0-3. And they'll get a home date next week against the Kansas City Chiefs. That'll do it for us. I'm Brandon Gordon, alongside Charles Davis. Thanks to our entire crew as well. We'll talk to you next time. So long, everybody.